hello everyone welcome back to our online session in this session we are going to learn about the hardware and software requirements for developing a java program and about the java development kit which uh, specifies a set of tools uh, required for developing a java program and also about the packages supported by java language in our previous session we have seen how java is closely connected to internet and world wide web to run java applet programs uh, in embedded in html document we require java enabled web browsers here are some of the web browsers which supports java language hot java by sun microsystem company netscape navigator by netscape communication technology and internet explorer a web browser by microsoft company so nowadays uh, most of the web browsers uh, supports java language they have a inbuilt uh, java language interpreter let us discuss the hardware requirements for java software this table specifies the hardware requirements for java 6 on different platforms on windows 32 bit machine uh, java 6 requires 64 mb of ram space and 98 mb of hard disk space with the support from web browsers like firefox 1.06 or above version and internet explorer with the version 6.0 or above if you are using windows 64 bit machine then uh, java 6 requires 128 mb of ram space and hard disk space of 98 mb with the same web browser feature as that of windows 32 bit machine suppose if you are using linux operating system then uh, the specification is going to vary for linux 32 bit machine a ram space of 64 mb is required and hard disk space of 58 mb is required with the firefox web browser uh, version 1.06 or above on uh, linux 64 bit machine a ram space of 64 mb is required and a hard disk space of 56 mb is required and the same web browser support is required for linux 64 bit machine software requirements for java software java is uh, currently supported by most of the operating system like windows mac linux and unix to build java programs we need a text editors like notepad modern java software has ides which stands for integrated development environment with built in editors eclipse j creator blue j and netbeans are the most popular ides used today let us learn about java support system java support system tells us the components required for building a successful java application a very good internet connection is required web server is required a web server is nothing but a program which accepts requests from the client and uh, sends back the requested information or the document next a web browser is required a web browser is a program that provides access to the world wide web which is uh, required for executing a java applet program html document is required HTML is a hypertext markup language. Uh, using this language, we create an HTML document within which the Java applet programs are embedded or inserted. Applet tag. Applet tag is used uh, within the HTML document to uh, place Java applet code. Java code. Java code is used. for defining java applets bytecode proxy server a proxy server is nothing but an intermediate server which exists between the uh, requesting client machine and the original server normally this proxy server is used to implement uh, the security okay mail server so mail servers are required for exchange of electronic mails across the network now 
we will discuss about java environment which is uh, needed for developing java programs java environment includes large number of development tools and also set of classes and methods using which we can build our java program these development tools are part of a system known as java development kit in short we call it as jdk and the classes and methods are the parts of the java standard library also known as application program interface normally java environment includes the following components java development kit application program interface and java runtime environment let us learn each of these uh, environment tools in detail java development kit the java development kit includes a set of tools which are required for developing a java program let us see those java development tools applet viewer applet viewer enables us to run java applets without actually using a java compatible browser next is java c java c is a java compiler which translates java source code to binary code which is called as a byte code and this byte code will be later given to an java interpreter for execution next java java is an interpreter which runs java applets and java applications by reading and interpreting the byte code files which are generated by the java compiler here in java the programs written by the programmer will not be directly converted into binary code instead the source code is converted into an intermediate byte code this byte code is machine independent hence uh, the byte code can be executed on any machine with the help of java interpreter next tool java p java p is a java disassembler which enables us to convert byte code files into a program description next tool is java h java h produces header files which are required for c language if you want to uh, implement a java program in other programming languages then you can use this java h to produce the header files required for that particular programming language next java doc java doc creates html format documentation from java source code files next tool is jdb jdb is a java debugger which is helpful for finding the errors in our java program this is an image which shows you how the java programs are created and executed on any machine using any of the text editor the programmer will create a java source code file this source code file can be given to a java document uh, tool for creating an html document or else the same java source code can be given to the java compiler for compilation this java c which is a compiler translates java source code into java byte code and it is uh, uh, stored in a java class file once the java class file is created you can uh, use this class file in other uh, programming languages like c language by creating an appropriate header file using java h uh, or else you can uh, use this java class file uh, directly uh, on any machine to get the program output with the help of java interpreter this java class file is a byte code the java class file contains byte code uh, which is interpreted by this java compiler to generate the appropriate output if there are any errors in the programmer 
if there are any errors in your program the java debugger will notify the error this is how the program uh, building and execution happens in java application program interface similar to the library functions in c language in java we have a built in library packages a package is a collection of similar classes and methods in java these packages are of six types they are language support packages utility packages input output packages networking packages awt packages and applet packages let us learn each of these packages in detail language support packages language support packages is a collection of classes and methods which is required for implementing the basic features of java that means uh, in order to write a simple java programs you require certain basic functions so those functions are provided by this language support packages next utility packages utility package is a collection of classes to provide utility functions such as uh, date time etc input output packages input output package consists of set of classes and methods required for carrying out input output operations in java networking packages networking package consists of collection of classes for communicating with other computers via internet so if you want uh, your programs to interact with some other programs in the internet then you can use this networking packages awt package awt stands for abstract window toolkit so it is a package with a set of classes that implements platform independent graphical user interfaces if you want your program to display circle rectangle uh, straight line etc you can use this awt package methods to get the output applet packages applet package includes a set of classes that allows us to create java applets these applet programs are executed on the client machine uh, with the help of java enabled web browsers now we will discuss java runtime environment this java runtime environment provides the necessary uh, systems uh, for executing java programs this includes java virtual machine in short we call it as jvm jvm is a program that interprets the intermediate java bytecode and generates the desired output it is uh, because of this byte code and jvm that programs written in java are highly portable as we have discussed the java does not the java language does not convert the source code into the corresponding machine code instead it converts the source code into an intermediate byte code this byte code can be executed on any machine because of this reason java is called as platform independent language or the java programs are called as portable programs okay next runtime class library runtime class libraries are set of class libraries that are required for execution of java program user interface toolkits a programmer can provide an interactive interface for the user to use an application program awt and swings are the examples of toolkits that supports varied input methods for the user to interact with the application program deployment technologies java runtime environment comprises the following key deployment technologies java plugin which enables the execution of java applet on the browser java web start enables remote deployment of an application with web start users can launch an application directly from the web browser 
without going through the installation procedure. Uh, that means uh, you can run any of the application without actually installing on your client machine. This is all about our today's session. Thank you.